Oh my goodness. It is seven in the morning. I just woke up and I was scrolling on my phone like you do when you just get up in the morning, just checking the news or whatever. And I saw that the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded today. And to my great surprise, and I think to the surprise of many people, even the awardees, it went to John Hopfield and Jeffrey Hinton. Now, as someone who has a physics PhD, those two guys who I know are titans in the field of artificial intelligence never once crossed my mind as possibly winning the Nobel Prize in physics. And this makes Hinton the first person to ever win a Nobel Prize in physics and a Turing Award, which is effectively the Nobel Prize in computer science because they don't have their own Nobel Prize. I think this is a landmark decision and a turning point for the Nobel Prize in physics. And I think it's going to spur a lot of conversation in the years to come because I think because the Nobel Prize has made this decision, it's going to open the door to so many other surprise awardees in the future. But I also think it is a timing kind of decision because obviously Hinton and Hopfield have made seminal contributions to the field of artificial intelligence, which so many other domains, physics included, make use of. And so I have very much mixed feelings about this because... As someone with a physics PhD, I have a few names in mind who I would think would be perhaps ahead in terms of deserving the Nobel Prize in physics. Just off the top of my head, I'm going to forget many people because I don't know everything about physics, but some people off the top of my head from like cosmology, I had people like maybe Alan Guth or David Spurgel, Lyman Page for their contributions on the, the WMAP project. From quantum computing, I was thinking of people like Peter Shor or David Deutsch for algorithms in the quantum computing domain. I'm not going to be able to list everyone I'm thinking of because it's still early and my brain still hasn't woken up. I think I'm still dreaming, honestly. I think this is still a dream. Maybe I'm going to go back to bed and I'm going to wake up and I realize this was this was all just a dream. But I don't think it is because I'm going to upload this. I'm going to see that this video is still on my YouTube channel. So the... The big takeaway here, I think, is that obviously artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm in the past couple of years. And I think, like I said earlier, that the Nobel Prize Committee is using this opportunity as a way to highlight the transformative role artificial intelligence is having and will have in scientific discovery moving forward. I think that Nobel Prizes in the future will definitely feature people who have used artificial intelligence to make great contributions to fields like biology, chemistry, and of course physics. But I couldn't have expected this. I really could not have expected this. Because while the Nobel Prize, in my opinion, has some issues in terms of who they give the award to, and just the fact that science really isn't done just by single individuals or even up to three individuals anymore. It's really done by large teams who who get these giant breakthroughs. I'm thinking of things like the Event Horizon Telescope or the LIGO Gravitational Wave Discovery. These are all things that take hundreds, if not thousands of people to contribute to. Just to award the prize to up to three people just feels a bit unfair, in my opinion. There's actually a famous example of Kip Thorne when he was told that he won the Nobel Prize in 2017, that he told the Nobel Committee that he's disappointed that he it couldn't go to the entire project. The award couldn't just be given to everyone associated with LIGO because he thought it was much bigger than himself. And so I do think that moving forward, we are going to see a lot more surprise Nobel Prize winners in not just physics, but fields like chemistry and medicine, um, economics. I think we're going to see a lot more surprises for the foreseeable future because this decision, I think, sets a precedent that these fields or the institution, the Nobel Prize institution, 
uh, will now consider candidates outside of maybe the traditional domains that the awards are given to. And like I said, I have mixed feelings about this because, like I said, I think that the Nobel Prize has some issues, but I don't know if this is maybe how I thought about solving some of those issues, giving it to someone or some people completely in maybe left field relatively to who the award is normally given to. Um, I would have liked to have seen maybe a more traditional physicist win the award and leave the Turing prize as the as the you know the nobel equivalent for the computer science community but that's just my thoughts on it and it's still seven whatever 30 35 in the morning i'm still tired and i haven't fully processed everything that's happening but i thought i would just share my initial thoughts on the award so thank you for watching i hope it uh puts some context as to how people in the physics community might be feeling and i'm very curious to know what you guys think in terms of what this award means was it well deserved um should the nobel prize committee have done this um and what does it mean for the future so would be curious to know your thoughts